Hello and thanks for clicking into Witchy Woo Tarot. This is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Aries. This reading cannot possibly be for everyone watching, so just take what resonates, whether it be past, present, or future, and let me know in the comments if it does. If it doesn't, just go ahead and check out your moon, Venus, and rising signs in your birth chart to see if those videos have the message you need to hear. So before we get started, Aries, I just want to say a quick thank you to you guys who have been so supportive and have subscribed to my channel. Um, I have loved doing private readings over the last couple of weeks, and I hope to do more for you. And just know that your subscription to my channel does get you entered into the end of season giveaways where you can win a free reading or a tarot slash oracle deck from moi. And so if you haven't already subscribed, just make sure that you tap the notification bell when you do so you don't miss out on your reading or your name being called. So we're going to do things a bit differently from how we did them in the last season's playlist. And we're going to dig into love. So we're going to get some energies between you and your person, Aries, whoever that may be for you. And also just... Remember that gender is fluid. So if you hear me saying he or she, just reverse the roles if you need to and um, take the messages that you hear and fit them into your life the way that they need to or however they apply. Okay, so let's get some general energy for Aries and their person. And this is the wisdom of the oracle. <clears throat> Wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Baron Reed. Okay. So let's start with the first card. Okay, so we have Buy the Book and Go the Distance. All right. This card came up in the Virgo reading. Also, we've got the number 11 here. Um, by the book suggests family, stability, um, traditional values, just um, falling in line is what I'm hearing. Okay, so you or your person are traditional they're doing things, you know, the way that they feel they should, whether that be based on how they were raised or how they feel in their heart that things should go. Um, and they are checking off the list is what I'm hearing. So go the distance suggests to me that you feel or your person feels like this relationship um, is going to make it in the long run. Okay, this is for the long haul. I think you and your person are coming to terms with the fact that you're going to be building a family together and going the distance in this relationship, which is beautiful. So I'm going to dive real deep into the tarot and I'm going to be working with the Enchanted Love Tarot by Amy Zerner and Monty Farmer who are both pretty rad because this deck is beautiful. The imagery is amazing. And as you all know, I love collecting tarot cards for the artwork and I love seeing the different perspectives from all of these artists. So just something neat um, to collect. But I'm going to be looking at what your person is thinking, feeling, and how they view the relationship, okay? So can I please have some cards on what Aries person is currently thinking about this relationship? What is on Aries person's mind? I'm gonna take this because it was hopping. We'll get one more for what is your person thinking about you? For the general collective of Aries. Okay, thinking. What is your person feeling about you currently, Aries? How do they feel in their heart about you? How is your person feeling in their heart? Okay, so I'm going to take this one that popped because that's too many. 
And how does your person view this relationship? How does Aries person view the relationship? Can I have one card? There we go. Okay, so let's get started, Aries. Here we go. So, ooh, okay. So, how your person is thinking about you? Wow. Okay. So we have the Tower and the Emperor. Okay. So maybe you or your person, and this is your card, Aries. You are the Emperor of the Tarot deck. Um, so this is. This is all about power and control is what I'm hearing. So, you know, maybe your person is thinking that you are their divine masculine or their divine counterpart. Maybe your person is coming to the realization um, and they're maybe in crisis mode in their heads thinking, you know, I'm hearing um, the, their ways of thinking are being disrupted. Okay, so this doesn't necessarily have to be a crisis or something incredibly negative, although, you know, we all have tower moments from, from time to time. But I think your person is thinking that some of these moments that have maybe happened between the two of you and these realizations and maybe hitting roadblocks um, or, you know, discovering that the foundation once they once thought was stable maybe isn't. Or hasn't been maybe your person has just been through a lot in their life maybe your person has faced crisis and dealt with putting out fires left and right um, and they're thinking that they have found their divine counterpart okay um, they're thinking that maybe they went through these awful things to to come into this level of stability and and control okay so the way that your person is feeling about you, and again, you can reverse the roles. This could just also be you, since this is your card. Um, maybe coming out of crisis mode and gaining control over a relationship or situation. How your person is feeling about you, they trust you implicitly, Aries. Um, the Fool card is all about the brand new beginning the willingness to jump into the unknown and take a risk, trusting that the universe will have your back and will catch you um, no matter what the outcome. So the fool can sometimes be foolish or maybe your person feels foolish for, <clears throat> for allowing you into their heart when maybe sometimes they haven't been able to do that before. Maybe, you know, I'm a fool for you is what I'm hearing. Um, so your person feels like they're a fool for you. They trust you and they're wanting to move forward into a brand new life together. Okay. So we've got three major arcana cards. That's huge. And how the person, how your person views the relationship is the Ace of Roses or the Ace of Wands. We've been getting a lot of Aces in these readings. And so your person is viewing this relationship as passionate, um, creative, um, you know, with the Wands, it's all about action. So your person is viewing this relationship as a spicy beginning. I don't know why I just heard spicy, but spicy, okay? Um, so your person feels that this, this relationship is like the ace in their back pocket, okay? This relationship is, it's just smells of, of creativity, and it's almost like, it's a blank slate in a sense to create whatever you want, okay? So maybe you and your person are um, starting to create this new life together. 
Um, again, we have more fire energy. So, you know, there's a there's that ignition. That's the ace of wands. The ignition starts and those ideas and those that passion is put into action, okay? Um, but again, you know, with the Emperor card and by the book, um, I think that maybe you or your person has clung to some sort of traditional values. And I think, like I said, that's being shaken up right now. Um, and they're realizing that what needs to happen is that leap and that trust and that faith. And maybe your person has had some issues with having faith because of these tower moments that they have had. So, you know, when you go through bad relationships, whether it be family, friends, or lovers, it's kind of hard to give up that control. It's kind of hard to stray from the book but I'm seeing that your person is feeling that regardless of this past they're able to really put their trust and faith in you and in this relationship and really you know pack it up for the long haul is what I'm hearing so um, I'm gonna get some clarification with the Guardian Angel Tarot Cards by Dorian Virtue and Radley Valentine. We'll get some extra insight on the energy between you and your person. Okay, we have one. We have three. All right, so first we've got the Four of Abundance. Okay, which is the Four of Pentacles. It says here, the time is now to reflect upon your relationship with money. Are you spending it too freely or are you holding on to it too tightly? This can also relate to how you give of yourself to others. Is your heart open or are you holding back? Your hard work and wise investments will bring great success. So some of you may um, just have a hold on your coin. Okay, whether you're holding back or whether you're holding on to it, um, you have control over your money situation. Um, and I think maybe your person might be on the same page. So when it comes to money, I think the two of you have the same ideas. Um, and I think that um, this may also be another reason why your person trusts you because they see that you are stable financially. They see that you are able to, um, you're able to manifest abundance into your life, okay? And that is a very attractive quality. Um, so again, the warning here is, is, you know, not to spend too freely and just kind of keep in mind that, you know, money, although it might be easy for you to attain money, money doesn't grow on trees. You have to work for it. So just be sure that you are um, spending, your spending coincides with your working, okay? So that you can make sure that that influx doesn't stop. Um, so we also have the five of cups, the five of emotion, and then we have the high priestess. So with the five of cups, this just tells me that, you know, maybe you have experienced some sadness or rejection, um, whether it be in this relationship or previous relationships. There's the element of rejection here that I see. You know, this man is down on one knee proposing to this woman and she's like, meh. Not interested, bud. So it says here that forgiveness is an important part of healing. And I'm going to stop right there. So if you have, if you or your person have been through some sort of traumatic past where, um, you know, you felt like you were having a tower moment, you felt like it was just heartache, um, the key to forgiveness is to really um, forgive yourself because you can't, 
you can't hold others responsible for the version of you that they make up of you in their head. Okay, so if you felt rejected in the past, or if your person has felt rejected in the past, maybe you've made your person feel rejected in the past. Um, a part of that is, is healing from those previous relationships so that you can move forward um, into into this new beginning. So forgive yourself and those around you for any mistakes of the past so that everyone can move forward. Grieving is a normal part of life. Ask your angels or those you love to help you move through the process quickly so that you can get back on the path to joy. Okay, so <clears throat> maybe, like I said, you or your person has not had such great experiences when it comes to emotional matters of the heart. Um, and it is hard to trust somebody new when you've been through the worst. Okay, it's hard to let go of that control, but um, again, I see this positive energy moving forward here, so I'm, I'm kind of feeling like this was of the past. Um, maybe just to clarify that tower moment, but with the high priestess, you know, we know she's all about intuition um, and inner knowing. So the high priestess goes within and she finds the answers. Okay, she just really connects with her intuition. She knows what's going on. She isn't afraid to stand in her truth. Um, and so you are a very intuitive person and there are many wonderful insights that lie waiting inside you. Take time to be quiet and reflect upon the desires of your heart through meditation or prayer. There's no need to take action right now. Be patient with yourself. So maybe you or your person is an empath or maybe you or your person it's just very intuitive. Um, and, you know, again, when when you go through that hardship, it's, it's very easy to get those feelings and immediately think the worst. Okay? So just make sure when you're going inward that you are allowing yourself to see the best case scenario. And although you view that there's action maybe that needs to be taken in your relationship to move forward, um, you know, it's okay to go within and really think before taking action. Remember in the Taurus video, we did talk about wanting to do things or wanting to make changes, but feeling kind of stuck um, because, you know, being forced to make a change that you don't want to make can be very um, conflicting, but it looks to me like you or your person and possibly both of you are wanting to take this action into a new beginning. So again, maybe just going inward and reflecting about how to go about that um, can do you a world of good. So I'm going to get a Whispers of Love Oracle card for some advice moving forward for you and your person. And then we'll go ahead and wrap up the reading. Okay, so two kind of flaked out at the bottom there. So I'm going to just read both. And your reading will be 573 minutes long, to be exact. So we have here, I feel like the angle is kind of off in this video. I'm sorry if it is, guys. Um, so we have Listen With Your Heart which came up, I believe, in the Virgo reading. Um, and then treasure your loved ones, okay? So when you are listening, you need to hear with a loving heart, okay? So just make sure that you are really getting in touch with your emotions um, and allowing yourself to, to feel those things and not just listening with your mind. Okay, um, and maybe you can use your intuition to pick up on cues on how to move forward with your person. Um, and then treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. Okay, so I feel like you or your person or both of you are starting to kind of see what is really important and it's sharing that love um, in more ways than just romantic love. Okay, because, you know, in relationships, the passion and... And the, the physical things are always great, but, you know, really what's beneath all of that is the, the root of that is the love, okay? It's the deep emotions um, that propel that passion. 
um, and that's also the foundation. Okay, so um, I hope this reading resonated for someone. If it did, like I said, please let me know in the comments. Um, if you have any questions for me or you would like to do some digging into your birth chart and need some help with that, please email me at witchywootarot at gmail.com. Or if you would like to book a private reading to dig into your personal connection, you can do so at my Etsy shop. And those links will be located in the description box of my video. Um, if you don't need either one of those things and you just want to follow along for addition, additional messages and content, you can follow me on Instagram at witchywootarot. So again, thanks for listening. Um, I hope you guys are being safe and I hope you have a wonderful night. Bye.